Hello guys, today we are going to see how we can implement caching in the node side. We are going to use Redis. So to install Redis, you have to follow these steps for Linux, you can follow this and for other operating system, you have the steps here. I am using Ubuntu Linux, so for me, it was just this command and that's it. Right. So what you have to do next, we have to start our Redis server. So let's open the terminal and think redis cli is the command Redis server started Let, let's keep it open and go to our folder i'm going to open the command prompt and with this what we're going to do we're going to install node uh, the packages for node so npm install first we have to do npm init why create the package json file and npm install express and redis create our server file so let's say server.js start the coding by starting a simple node server so we're going to start with importing the requiring the express and creating the endpoints so we have our first endpoint here users when from the front end we are going to call this users endpoint we are going to get the data from the database here and send it in this in this section so we are not going to make it complicated we will make it uh, keep it simple and what we'll do <coughs> since we are not using database and getting the data from the database it will take some time so what we're going to do we are going to create uh, let's say we're going to give set timeout and inside that we'll do the send right and uh, let's say after three seconds after three seconds we'll be sending the response but what is the response the response is whatever we received from our database for example user list it's an array and in that array what we have we have say user id 1 and user name is user 1 or well, let's make it john and before sending we will create our uh, response that we are going to say const response equal to let's say status is say success and data is that our user list copy this and send it here that should be enough okay server started at port 8000 we'll, we are going to use postman for this to testing our api endpoint okay so for example your uh, data is not changing in uh, too much frequently so you can cache this data you, you should not cache the data which is frequently changing we should catch this one only which is not getting changed uh, very frequently right so now let's uh, do the second step implement the caching which is going to connect to the server let's redis client equal to redis dot create client creating the client first then redis client dot Let's give one error handling on error. First of all, let's set this one. Once we receive the data from the database, we have our response ready. Uh, set this one. So, Redis client dot in which name we are going to send. Let's give it user list. User list or make it same users. <coughs> one thing to note remember that it is always be a string away format so let's make it stringify and give the response here so it will become a string and we are setting this one here but this is uh, also we have to remember that this is an asynchronous function okay now our data is saved successfully and just to make sure it is 
saving the data there what we'll do we'll restart our node uh, server and hit this one from postman data let's go to our um, another terminal terminal and here we can write get then users oh it is get users we have this data here already set now we are going to use this one so let's um, try to get that one okay so const cast cast data again this will be a async function so now just we're going to check if we have this data already set then return that data from here but in json dot parse uh, json format we have to parse this one and that's all just return this from there now let's check this restart our server our node server not this one okay since data is already set it should not take uh, four seconds let's see it is taking 24 ms right okay previously it was taking previously it was taking four um, four second here let's make it three second and check it again we have to restart it will take three seconds 3.03 now if we enable our caching what is going to do it will give us data in very less second and uh, it will be from the caching TMS. Right, so this is very useful for caching. Hope you enjoy this video and you can you'll be able to make use of Redis caching. Thank you.